Ba bing! It is time again for one of every Masters pack, including Modern Horizons 1 and 2. So let's do it. Welcome to Tragic MTG, by the way. Nissa and I welcome you to subscribe and comment down below and like this video if you're into this kind of stuff. And as usual, I will be scanning up the rare at least uh, and any other good, like uncommon common hits. Here we go with Masters 2015 with a soldier token and a, and a dude. Scion of the Wild um, downshifted all the way to common. There we go. The Flamekin Sickle Slicer. We got Tezzeret's Gambit. Dagger Claw Imp, Dark Steel Axe, and Spell Skite. Pretty decent card for two. It's a creature horror, zero four. You can pay Phyrexian or Blue to change target of target spell or ability to Spell Skite. I think this used to be used in some modern decks, but it has fallen out of favor. And it is five bucks for the original. Let's see what the other version is. Five sixty four. Off to a pretty decent start there. And we got a foil aqueduct. Eternal Masters has some eternally good things in this set. Let's do it. We've got a Rift Watcher, the Uprising, a Scab, Twisted Abomination, Crocodile, Mindless Automaton, Rancor. Very good pull there for an uncommon. Zealous per Persecution, the Rancor is a buck. It always sees the wrong one, but it's also about a buck. Zealous Persecution and Braids. I have enough Braids. I don't need any more. Let's see the Persecution. Just going to double check. It's nothing really big. So Braids Cabal Minion for four Legendary Human Minion 2-2. Two, two. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player sacrifices an artifact, creature, or land. Um, pretty decent commander card, right? But probably doesn't see much play out of that. We got an elite vanguard. Let's see, braids is 50 cents. Elite vanguard. Um, there's a channel called Remy MTG where he does skits. Um, I think he does some political work on other channels as well. And elite vanguard is one of his favorite to pick on, which um, is really cool. So. That's a cool card. Carnivore. Wow, I've never seen this one. The Token Beast. I'm going to check that one, actually. 25 cents. It's okay for a token. There we go. Modern Masters, the original from 2013. We got a Moss Dog. A Fairy. Another Fairy. A Fungus. A Mungus. A Vidalcan. Kadama's Reach is a good common. A couple bucks for the Commander version. Pretty much a commander staple, right? So Modern Masters 2013, couple bucks there. Rift Elemental, Desperate Ritual. It's another one I will scan and double check. Yeah, it's okay. Buck Tar Pitcher, Epocrisite, another downshift, and Squee, the Goblin Nabob, Legendary Goblin for three. He's a one-one. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may return Squee Goblin Nabob from your graveyard to your hand. Not a big one now. I'm not even going to change that, actually. Petals of Insight. Very cool art. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Um, but I don't think it's really worth scanning. I'm just going to throw it over there. There we go. 2017. Forbidden Alchemy. Outrage. Skeens. The Lookout. Got a foil something in the back. I think all these have foils pretty much, right? So I shouldn't be too surprised by that. Azoria Signet. Signets are kind of okay, but I don't think they really work a lot, right? I mean, it's not bad. 91 cents. I'll pull it. Modern Masters. It's actually a buck. There we go. Got a Cultist. We got a Wooly Thoctar and Ovenwall Tracker. Cool card. Human Shaman for one green. It's the one one you can pay one in the green. Tap it. Target creature you control fights another target creature. Fighting is a good ability. Let's see what we got for the foil. Oh, I was so hoping it would be something more exciting than a guild gate. Oh, well. Uh, foil guild gate. Sure, why not? And a goblin token. All right. Modern Horizons. So I think this is... There's not a guaranteed foil in a Modern Horizons pack, is there? Uh, I guess I get a foil token. 
You should know what I'm talking about eventually. This is like the Plague Engineer or something like that. Yep, Plague Engineer. Snow-covered island. You can never have too many of those. And we got a Foil Viachino Sand Sprinter. The island is a couple bucks. And then we got a Deep Forest Hermit for five. It's an Elf Druid with Vanishing. And there's a battlefield with three time counters on it at the beginning of your upkeep. Remove a time counter. When the last is removed, sacrifice it. So you could proliferate counters on this thing to keep it around, I guess. When it enters the battlefield, create four 1 1 green squirrel creature tokens. And squirrels you control get plus one, plus one. Um, probably more efficient ways to um, make squirrel tokens and pump your team. But um, let's see what it is. A couple bucks, so. It's a squirrel lord. Nothing wrong with that. Abominable tree folk. Forgotten cave. Or scale guardian. It's a dragon. Stream of thought. Great art by Seb McKinnon. Got an Unirid. A Hellraiser. I like the changelings in Modern Horizons. Umbra. And there's another one. This is a good one. I wonder if this one. It can't be worth any money, but I think it sees some play. And it's an unblockable changeling. It's a decent card. Chiller Pillar. And a quake foot cyclops. All right, moving on. I need a big hit here. No mythics yet. Masters twenty five. The squadron hawk, cutthroat. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like our rats coming back in style. Let's see. Nothing big on that one. Got a crimson mage. Aberration. Ghost ship. That was from the dark. Wow, that's cool art for that. I like that. Cathar, the Twisted Abomination. Regrowth, um, I think is a decent uncommon. I mean, it's been printed a few times, right? This version, 59 cents. It's okay. Myriad Landscape, Caustic Tar. Vendillion Click, very nice. Uh, one and two blue. It's a legendary wizard. Flash Flying, when it enters the battlefield, look at target player's hand. You may choose a non-line card from it. If you do, that player reveals the chosen card, puts it on the bottom of his or her library, and then draws a card. So, um, this used to be a bigger card. It has come down a bit, so still pretty decent. There's my Mythic. Um, different version, because it's been printed a few times, so nine bucks. Solid. I'll take it in an epic confrontation. Punching a dinosaur. This is like a dinosaur, right? Yeah, kind of looks like it. All right. An insect token. Double masters. Double, double your possibilities to get a bulk rare. Salivating gremlins. A Silumgar scavenger. Restoration. Puzzle knot. Is it charm? Or is it charmless? Gelatinous genesis. Brimstone volley. Leaves of the tangle for the first rare. It's a eight drop, eight eight trample. When it deals combat damage to a player, you may choose any number of target lands you control. Put any an awakening counter on each of them. Each of those lands is an eight eight green elemental um, creature. So you could ramp up to this and take over a game. So it's solid, but I don't think it's a super big money card. Council's judgment, I think, is a little bit. And leads to the tangle is seventy five cents. Council's Judgment is sorcery for one and two white. Will the council starting with you? Each player votes for a non-line permanent you don't control. Exile each permanent with the most votes or tie for most votes. A commander card. It is a couple bucks. And a puzzle knot and a disciple of the vault are my foils. Nothing too crazy there. All right, Ultimate Masters. Aha, the side opener that I actually got to work right this time. Happy with myself. We got an elemental token. Ghoul Caller's Accomplice and a Nourishing Shoal. Oh, which fish are we? We are this fish right here. The little back fish with the rooty face. For X and two green, it's an instant arcane. You may exile a green card from with converted mana cost X from your hand rather than play the spells of mana cost. You gain X life. The Shoal of Nobody Cares. Because it's 72 cents. Appetite for Brains. I love the art on this. I always have and I always will. Reviving Vapors. And a Chainer's Edict is an okay uncommon. For three bucks. Better than the rare. Got a Canker. Kadama's Reach. And it's been printed again, of course. Ultimate. A couple bucks. 
Bardment and a Resurrection. Iconic Masters up next. Regular pack. Chases Phantasm. Cool card. Hammer Hand. Newt. A Thrill Kill Assassin. We got a Surreal Memoir. Simic Growth Chamber. Corpse Shack Menace. Anger of the Gods. So for one and two red. Deals three damage to each creature. If a creature dealt damage this way, it would die. It's turning exile instead. It's pretty solid. It is one that has been printed a few times, and it's a buck forty-six. Lead the stampede, and then we go. Modern Horizons two. So um, my last few packs of Modern Horizons two that I'm be opening for this series came from a fat pack where I opened six packs and saved four, and out of the six packs I got like nothing. So I'm due. For some hits out of these Modern Horizons 2 packs. Let's see if we can get it. Lightning Spear, the Aerialist, a Retro Frame, Blacksmith, a Bridge, another Bridge, Turex, Canticle. What is a Canticle? Healer's Flock, Clattering Augur, Raving Visionary, Flame Rift, Piru the Volatile for two. Two red, two white, and two black. Elder Dragon with flying lifelink. You your upkeep, sacrifice it unless you pay um, red, white, and black. What is that color combination called? Tell me down below. When it dies, it deals seven damage to each non legendary creature. Don't think it's a super money card. It's the pure opposite of a money card. I got a nice clue out of it, though. All right, so that was it for modern um, uh, masters all of them opening packs and everything you know what i'm talking about tragic mdg catch you later